Smile and learn. Have you ever heard of global warming? Did you know that over the past decades, sea level has risen? All these news are related to climate change. To understand better what climate change is, we should define what climate is. The climate is the combination of atmospheric conditions that occur in place for a prolonged period of time. Over the past centuries, the climate everywhere around the Earth has changed, altering the usual conditions of a place regarding precipitation and temperature. This way, water shortage, desertification, the disappearance of lakes, or even sea level rise are becoming more and more common. In addition, the number of natural disasters like droughts, floods, or huge storms has increased. All these situations are a consequence of global warming, meaning the increase in temperature happening on the planet, owing mainly to human activity. But why has the planet's temperature risen? The Earth is surrounded by the atmosphere, a thin layer of gas which allows part of the solar radiation to penetrate. For that, this layer consists of gases called greenhouse effect gases, whose mission is to absorb part of the energy received and maintain the planet's temperature. One of the main greenhouse effect gases is CO2. With the Industrial Revolution, CO2 emissions started to increase owing to the use of fossil fuels like coal or petrol. Over the past years, the presence of gases like CO2 in the atmosphere increased, and for this reason, its capacity to retain solar radiation has been enhanced, resulting in an increase of the average temperature of the planet. Climate change affects every country in the world, causing a negative impact on their economy, people's lives, and all living beings. Here are some facts. Over the past 150 years, the average global temperature increased almost 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Would you say it's not much? If the Earth's temperature keeps rising, thousands of animal and plant species may disappear forever. Oceans got warmer, and for this reason, the amounts of ice have decreased, causing sea levels to rise. Did you know that between 1901 and 2010, the sea level has risen 7.5 inches? This may cause some places to disappear beneath the water's surface. Worse consequences are predicted in the future if we don't take measures urgently. Currently, there are some viable solutions at hand. Would you like to learn about them? It is necessary to turn to renewable energies to reduce CO2 emissions. Cars are responsible for 10% of CO2 emissions. Use public transport, bicycle, or walk. Reduce your plastic use. Use less plastic. Producing plastic involves high CO2 emissions in the atmosphere. Plant a tree taking into account the ecological characteristics of your area. Did you know that five trees can absorb up to one metric ton of CO2 during their life cycle? Always recycle. An interesting fact is that we would need less energy to make paper from old newspapers than if we made it using directly the wood from trees. Turn off the lights whenever they are not needed. If we save electricity, we also reduce the energy waste required to produce it. Remember, it's in your hands to look after the planet. Want to join us in our mission? Hello friends! Today we're going to learn what is the greenhouse effect. Have you ever heard of it? The greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon which makes life possible on our planet. But why do we talk about the greenhouse effect? Do you know how it works? Now you're going to understand it better. 
A greenhouse is an enclosed structure made of plastic or glass, used to grow crops, flowers, or plants. The walls and the ceiling allow sunlight to come through inside the greenhouse to warm it up. This way, we manage to maintain temperature and humidity in optimum conditions for plants to grow. The same effect is produced on our planet. How interesting! The Earth is surrounded by the atmosphere, a thin gaseous layer which allows part of the solar radiation to penetrate. To do that, this layer contains gases called greenhouse effect gases, whose mission is to absorb part of the energy received and maintain the temperature of the planet. One of the main greenhouse effect gases is CO2, also known as carbon dioxide. Over the past centuries, gases like CO2 in the atmosphere became more abundant and for this reason, its capacity to retain solar radiation has increased, resulting in the rising of the planet's temperature, same as in the greenhouse. But the increase of these gases is very bad for the Earth. Why have they become more abundant in the atmosphere? With the Industrial Revolution, CO2 emissions started to rise owing to the use of fossil fuels like coal or oil. Nowadays, traffic in the cities, cars, or airplanes produce great amounts of CO2 emissions. Wow, look at all that smoke in the sky! Similarly, a great part of the energy we consume is generated by using fossil fuels. Every time you leave the lights on or any electronic device, you're sending more CO2 to the atmosphere. Factories are another source of CO2 emissions. To produce plastic, for example, we use fossil fuels and we need a large amount of electrical energy to do so. Did you know that the textile industry is highly pollutant? Intensive farming is also responsible for greenhouse effect gas emissions. Wildfires emit large amounts of CO2 in the atmosphere. As a consequence of the greenhouse effect and the rise in global temperature, the Earth is changing. For this reason, water shortage, desertification, the disappearing of lakes, or even sea level rise are becoming more and more common. Worse consequences are predicted in the future if we don't take measures urgently. Currently, there are some viable solutions at hand like recycling, using renewable energies, electric transportation, or reducing plastic waste. Would you like to find out more? We tell you all about them in our video, Climate Change. We're counting on you! Remember, it's in your hands to look after the planet. Want to join us in our mission? Hey there, friends! I have a very important mission! To look after the environment and help so that kids like you join us in this task, which is vital for our planet. As you may already know, human beings and the environment are closely linked together. Every time people harm nature, they cause environmental problems. These problems involve damaging changes in the environment, many of which will be irreversible and will affect the health of all human beings. Look at this river. People have thrown waste in it. The water has been contaminated and now nobody can drink it. Oh no! There are also many animals and living beings that will die because of contamination. Luckily, it's in our hands to protect nature and look after the environment. That's why I want to share with you these 10 easy ways to look after the environment. Let's take a look! Turn off the lights and the electronic devices you're not using to save energy. Replace plastic bags with reusable cloth bags. It takes plastic bags years to decompose and making them is a very contaminating process. Separate and recycle the different types of waste, organic, inorganic, containers, glass, or paper and cardboard. To avoid wasting water, make sure taps are completely turned off. The toilet is not a rubbish bin. Did you know that we waste 10 liters of water every time we flush the toilet? 
Have a shower instead of a bath. A five-minute shower uses about 100 liters of water, while a full bath would use up to 250 liters. Turn off the water tap while brushing your teeth. If you didn't shut off the faucet, you would waste an average of 20 liters every time you brushed your teeth. Reuse paper. For example, remember that you can write on both sides of the sheet to maximize its use. Pick up your litter every time you go to the beach or the mountains. Respect and look after the animals, flowers, and trees around you. Easy ways to look after the environment, right? I'm sure you already know about them and do most of them. With simple actions like recycling, saving energy and water, and looking after all living beings, we contribute to a more sustainable planet. Do you know this word? A sustainable planet or city are those that provide people with a good quality of life without risking natural resources. This way, future generations will enjoy a wonderful planet where economic growth, environmental care, and social well-being are in balance. Remember, it's in your hands. Want to join us in our mission? Hello, friends. I'm on a very special mission. Today, I'm going to tell you about saving water. Water is essential for life. Without water, all living beings would go extinct. That's why we should all do our best to save water and reduce its consumption. As you know, three-fourths of our planet is covered with water, but only a small proportion is drinkable. Listen closely. 97% of the water on Earth is salt water and 3% is fresh water. Of that, only 0.025% of fresh water is drinkable. As you can see, this is a very small percentage. Besides, it decreases every year owing to contamination and human consumption. For a more sustainable planet, it's important to reduce drinking water consumption. But how do we waste water? In what ways do we use this very important resource carelessly? These are some surprising facts. Do you know how many gallons of water we waste every time we use the toilet as a bin? Around 1.5 gallons. Do you know how many gallons of water you waste if you don't shut off the faucet while brushing your teeth? 4.5 gallons. Also, a dripping tap wastes nearly 8 gallons of water a day. Wow, that's impressive. This is how we waste millions of gallons of water every day without even realizing it. But there are ways and recommendations to follow. To save water at home and contribute with our grain of sand to helping the environment. Here's what we can do. Make sure water taps are completely turned off. Don't use the toilet as a garbage bin. Turn off the water tap while brushing your teeth. Run the washing machine, only with a full load. Reuse the water for cleaning the vegetables to water the plants. Rainwater can be harvested and stored to water your garden. Have a shower instead of a bath. Do you know how many gallons of water we could save if we turned off the water while having a shower? 40 gallons! Wow! These are some ways to reduce water consumption and contribute to a better planet. Would you like to join our mission? Start saving water now! The planet is in our hands! Hello friends! Today we're going to learn about the importance of promoting responsible consumption. Have you heard about it? Responsible consumption is about consuming products based on our real needs and choosing options that are beneficial for the environment and the social equilibrium. Sometimes we buy or consume too many products, more than we actually need. Too many clothes, toys and electronic devices. Do you think we really need all these? Could we try to make the best out of what we have without buying new things? Responsible consumption is based on the 3R principle. Reduce, reuse, 
and recycle. Look at this shopping basket. We could reduce waste buying two big bottles of this drink instead of six small cans. We'd be buying the same product, generating less waste. We can reuse this glass jar to store some other foods. We could also reuse these sheets of paper for note taking by writing on the blank side. The last step is to recycle. We can recycle material like plastic, glass, or cardboard. Did you know we can make a book by recycling eight cereal boxes? Consuming products we don't need can be very harmful for our planet. That's why we should change some of our habits. These are some ideas. Plan your shopping and make a list of the things you need. This will help you to save money and keep you from buying products you don't need. Careful with food waste. Did you know that each household weighs 76 kilograms of food? To stop this, it is necessary to prepare or order only the food you'll actually eat. Like we said before, planning your grocery shopping is key to stop buying more than you need. To generate zero waste, avoid buying canned or packaged products. If that's not possible, try to buy products packaged in containers that you can reuse and recycle. Visit traditional markets and buy local produce. The people who sell at these markets buy products locally. That's why they are more fresh and sustainable. Besides, there's no need to drive to your local market. You could walk there. This way you help to reduce contamination caused by transporting goods between the point of origin and the point of use. Try not to use plastic bags. Bring your own bags from home or use cloth bags. Did you know that 8 million tons of plastic end up in our seas and oceans every year? That's terrible news for the animals and their ecosystem. Make the best use of products like clothes, shoes, or electronic devices, mobile phones, game consoles, etc. Following fashion trends or dressing in the latest fashion implies that we contaminate a lot more annually. We waste millions of gallons of water and we generate tons of residues. Have you ever heard of upcycling? To upcycle is to find creative ways to reuse waste or unwanted material to make new objects. As you have seen, it is very easy to contribute to a lot more responsible consumption. You just have to consider this. Do I actually need all these things in my day-to-day -day life? How is the environment affected by everything we buy? Remember the 3R principle. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Consuming products we don't need may be very harmful for the environment. Easy habits and ideas like the one we told you about can help you to look after the planet. We're counting on you. Taking care of nature is in your hands. Renewable Energy We obtain energy from two different sources, renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Today we're going to learn about renewable energy sources. Renewable energy refers to all those limitless energy sources present in nature. The sun, the wind, the force of water, or the inner heat of the earth are examples of renewable energy sources. These energy sources are present in nature and are naturally replenished. That's why they never run out. These are some of the most well-known renewable energy types. Solar energy comes from the sun and reaches us as light and heat. For example, thanks to these solar panels we can capture sunlight energy and transform it into thermal energy to heat water in this house. Eolic energy comes from the movement of air, or the wind. For example, these windmills transform wind into electric energy. Tidal wave energy comes from the movement of sea waves, or when tides change from high to low, and vice versa. Hydraulic energy is produced by the water we store in reservoirs, or artificial lakes. Look at this dam! Water falls over from a high spot, then, it flows through the hydroelectric factory, where the force of the water is transformed into electric energy. 
Geothermal energy is generated from the heat stored in the earth. This type of energy is used for heating a house or generating electricity, for example. Let's look at some of the main advantages of renewable energies. They are environmentally friendly because they don't emit CO2 or greenhouse effect gases. They are limitless because they are obtained from natural resources that don't run out and replenish naturally. They are safer for our health because they don't generate toxic residues harmful for people. There is no doubt that renewable energies have many advantages, but there are disadvantages as well. Renewable energy resources are not found everywhere in the world. Countries with shorter daylight hours cannot produce as much solar energy as other parts of the world. Obtaining renewable energy can be random or variable because it depends on natural phenomena that we cannot always predict. For example, the amount of rainfall. To reach the world energy objectives and help take care of the environment, it's indispensable to accelerate the transition to renewable energies. Non-renewable energy. We obtain energy from two different sources. Renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Today we're going to learn about non-renewable energy sources. Non-renewable energy refers to the limited energy sources on the planet that don't replenish naturally. Coal, oil, natural gas, or nuclear energy are examples of non-renewable energy sources. In nature, there are limited resources of this type of energy. That's why they may run out with use. These are some of the most well-known non-renewable energy sources. Oil is found under the Earth's surface. It's a liquid substance formed by a mixture of hydrocarbons. Oil has a strong smell and dark color. Oil is used to produce fuels like gasoline or gas oil, which we use to power the engines of vehicles. Coal is a rock that is extracted from open pit underground mines. It's a black substance formed by the fossilization of the dead remains of plants. When coal is burned, it produces heat. Natural gas is extracted from deposits found under the ground. We use natural gas to heat houses. Uranium is a chemical element extracted from underground shafts and mines. We use uranium to produce nuclear energy which in its turn will later transform into electric energy. Non-renewable energies have disadvantages for the environment. For example, exhaust gases emit contamination gases in the atmosphere, which are harmful for the planet. As for nuclear energy, it is necessary to handle radioactive residues properly. When there's an accident related to non-renewable energy resources and residues, environmental catastrophes of great magnitude may occur, which are crucial for the Earth and all living beings. To reach the world energy objectives and help take care of the environment, it's indispensable to reduce the use of non-renewable energy resources and accelerate the transition towards renewable energies. Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.